Good afternoon, folks. Uh, welcome to Can on I get down Tabletops. On this? <laughs> I wouldn't go down on that. No, I mean, I'm Jerry, and Ben's broken seat. Okay. okay. Business as um, usual. Right. Yeah. So today we're going to talk. I've only just looked at this running order. I don't use running orders. No, I, Appar I, apparently you've been tasked with keeping me to a running order, <laughs> Jerry. Don't worry, my running order. We've only just finished saying down hello. Down. Hello. Uh, yeah, go on, mate. So um, a day, a day in, history. in history, a little snapshot in history. So what we're talking about here is off the back of my Rourke Strip fiasco that well, actually, people may or may not know that we've been doing. What I actually find is really funny about mm. this is we've been doing this for fun, and on and off we've been thinking about doing this. Mm. 18 months -ish. yes because so, you were the one that said i am going to do that. i am going to do this I... um and this came from about because uh the first war game kit we did was in with empress miniatures and it was published by warlord games and it was the rock's drift yes uh with the with warlord's rules mm. and i said to you what did you think of the kit and you said i have never made it mm. but i had to have it so, yeah had to have it but i could never find a rule set to bother building it with yeah. And I was so, disgusted. Yeah, well, you would be. You would I be would disgusted. Easily disgusted. Well, so for those of you who don't know, um, I came up with a game that ended up being a reenactment of the film. Yeah, we call this, with, the kind of way we play is film sim. So, yeah. you know, we are it, not real soldiers. It, it's not We're a not real generals. reenactment, no. turn by turn. Don't throw that bloody lead at me. Not, no. Well, did you see what I did then? No, I, no I did see what you did there. Mm -hmm. uh, but we. We ended up playing a game across an 8x6 uh, that, as accurately as we could, recreated something that was partway between the film and the actual uh, interaction. But Some, after, something yeah. for pleasure, yeah, yeah, basically. And it turned into a, a six-hour game, well, yesterday for us, depending on when this video goes out. Could have been months ago. Yeah, probably was months ago. Yeah. But the thing to remember about yesterday is that because that was the, the, the task we set ourselves, or I set Jerry, because mm. that involved me just thinking of something and you doing all the yeah. work, which is something I'm very good at, it's actually. Delegation is the key. Delegation is something very, very good in my in my book, because then it gets done. If it involves me, then it probably won't get done. And what I said to Jerry is what we were looking for is back in the day, because Jerry and I have been playing games, playing with ourselves for, <laughs> for, since we were nope. children, playing with ourselves. Yeah, nobody else will play with us. No, no, not really. And um, I said, do you remember the old games where you used to get together your mates and you'd have a like a it, think of it as like a, a buffet kind of a meal, but not a buffet, but a, a set piece meal. Mm. But the game is part of the enjoyment. The other part of the enjoyment yeah. is the rambling. And I can ramble the rambling conversations talking about. I mean, we were talking yesterday and, and this is real rambling. We were talking about Dark Future and all these yeah. old yeah, game all workshop old games. games. It's, it's not it's not the pick up and play thousand point game no. of whatever where you don't have to know me i don't have to know you you could land at a club and you could play that game mm. and there's a certain amount of enjoyment in a quick game like that but yeah. it is compared to the the sort of the smorgasbord of game yes. in front of us it's yeah. more like a, a hamburger and it was the idea that if we do this and you're sitting in a position where you've got a club and you've got a group of people who mm. can devote a day to playing something like rock drift we thought well what if we had to pick a day in history yeah, we and, did, and that was right. And then, how would you do that? Because obviously, Rock Strip occurred twenty second of January, eighteen seventy nine. Exactly, and this was you got so many things happening that day so in that one things, area. In that one area, yeah, yeah. Th this ten miles started. Isandwana was ten miles away from Rock Strip, so that is incredible. Yeah, um, and we thought, well, if you were to do this as a club game, we could revisit yeah. this. We could go back. We could play the drift, but we could also play. It's Andwana. The prelude. If you're if you're talking about movie sim, yeah. we're talking about Zulu Dawn. Zulu Dawn, followed yeah. by Zulu. And then, but we also said that in Zulu Dawn, there's actually two games because we were thinking that there's, there's you know, fly like uh, you know with uh, Gandalf when he goes, yeah. "Fly you fools!" It's like yeah. fly with the colors, get away. Yeah, because so uh, the, the uh, two guys they didn't to get they found the... them with the colors, but yeah. they both died. But they both died. Yeah. yeah, and I think that that would be a really good one. So that was a, that was going to we were thinking of doing that as. Um, as a kind of a, a race chase, game. A yeah. Race yeah. chase yeah. game, yeah. That's how Dark Future came into mm. the conversation, yeah. if I remember rightly. Yeah. Um, and then we were talking about how, what, what's what's the best scale for Isandwana? And we said that really it's probably 15, 10 mil. Yeah, yeah. Or oh, you need to drop spectacle. that. You, you, you need the spectacle. You need to be able to go, yeah. here's the British camp, yeah. and here is the Zulu army yeah. of 20,000. <laughs> Do you know what's so funny is I find that, that the, the British standard procedure to, to, to um, uh, Drop their tents. If, yeah. if, the, if their camp was going to become a battle zone, they would drop their tents. Uh, so it was clear. And at Isandwana, they deliberately didn't because they wanted to entice the natives in and mm. they knew they'd be too afraid, not knowing the natives have already planned 
to uh, massacre. I massacre, yeah, yeah. 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 Wipe, yeah. Wipe them out, all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did a very good job of tricking the Zulus mm. into thinking well, they weren't yeah. ready because they convinced themselves they, had, they were not ready. No, they really weren't. No, they weren't. So if we were to, to take our, our day, or we take our 22nd of January, we could potentially then have a chase game, a yeah. massive 10 mil. Yeah, the spectacle. 10 mil and then the chase game. Yep. Uh, we would have. You could even have a. Sorry. Um, you could no, even no. have a situation where the regiments, because they were a reserve, weren't they, for one of the horns? The actual, yes. But they had, first of all, they, because their original order, if I remember rightly, wasn't to attack Rorke's Drift. It was no. to cut off and kill all the all the retreating people before they got to the river. Yeah. yeah. And they decided. They should have run faster. They, they, they decided they would just have a go instead. Did they yeah. just have an amble just, cross? Because yeah. they, they came towards the British on the British side and they thought it was their own troops, didn't they? Yeah. And then they found so, these thousands of them, and they know what it is. Something like that. Something so, like that. So we could have a day where we could recreate a chunk of Africa, and we could recreate it through different rule sets. Mm. We could play various types of games where we're not limiting ourselves to just playing a standard. That comes to your smorgasbord idea, yeah. where, although forget Cad, because he's, you remember he was saying, uh, we were saying, what would you do? And he was saying about this, uh, um, uh, Horace Heresy storming the, the yeah. palace, and we said, "Well, what rules would you use?" And he used, said uh, GWs. I said, "Well, that doesn't that 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 fails completely." He goes, "No, it'd be forty k, not thirty k rules." And I'm thinking, <laughs> "Oh, you go. how can a man with no hair be so beardy?" You know. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that. So that's when we're playing this. So imagine it's curry night, but it's the game. Um, yeah. And so Jer it's Jerry's curry night. We've come over here and he, or curry weekend, whatever. And he goes, "This is the menu." Uh, and this is what we're envisaging yeah. doing for some point yeah, in the yeah, year. Yeah. So at the moment, we've just tried his your main course, and we Mid, like yep, it. Yep. And now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna. I don't even know we, if you call it a main course. It's, it's two main courses. Two main courses. Yeah, we need, we need followed, a starter. Followed by a, a starter that we have after the uh, first one, yeah. which is the guys running hell for leather. A little, a little, uh, a pair of teeth. But yeah, with little, well. we have a little flag. Yeah. No, no. But uh, um, if you do know what uh, um, uh, Benton's potty time was, then <laughs> we could do that. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Don't, I'm yeah, just, I wouldn't worry about it. He's actually one of the reasons why I'm not too safe around myself, um, <laughs> because I thought he was brilliant. Same sense of humour. Uh, moving on, because I digressed us. You're what, failing. In, what, you into, are failing in, what into the goons? You're, you're, I'm, I'm not failing. I'm winning at this. The, the running orders are not for the likes of us. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't toss them away. I can't. I won't. Re I can't because Lloyd will really tell me off. <laughs> he's like an adult. Lloyd, Lloyd, and Adam. He's my other son. He's started with foreground. Still a part of it, but um, he has other more important things to do, like have a proper job. Um, let's, let's say they're similar. If they get annoyed at the same thing, will you just be serious and get on with it? But sorry, that's a, that's me completely digressing. <laughs> um, yeah. So the idea is is that it, this is going to be when it's finally up together yeah you would like your curry night now i actually know somebody else a, a mate of mine uh um uh, lee and uh, his wife mel and their son jamie so he had a very similar idea that he wanted to do a film sim yeah and what each of you didn't know and jerry seriously doesn't know this is yeah. you've both done rock drift only i said to you you could have because this is another thing we yeah. were talking about and i said to you have as much space as you want have as much as you want gee has he gone to town he wants you know he wants to but that's another article we're going to talk about in mm. a bit which is what you really want and then with lee what i said i think he's known as chain gun chain gun here on right, the, um, right. On, and on what side. lee was told to do is i said to him try and get it an asymmetric game where there is either an umpire or a solo play and I found it really interested that interesting that things that you both found is irrelevant. Yeah. Like for instance, I'm, I'm going to tell you what you both found irrelevant was um, when the cattle were loose from the other lower corral because it really happened at a time when it wasn't that important. Yeah. And it really happened in an area that it wasn't that important. Neither of you had it. Yeah. Now then, the thing that I do find interesting is Lee thought the the um, the eclipse was really important because the, the Zulus thought it was a message and they got braver and so he has something that changes in his game. Mm. But he has. Nothing for the hotel, uh, hotel hospital, hospital burning, burning down. Right. Yes, for you, that is such an integral part. In fact, that's a, that's a timeline action. It happens. Yeah. Oh, it definitely happened, yeah. And I said that it's, and that's when we noticed, and in yeah. a way, I think that was the first time we realized there's more than one game in here, because then we were saying yeah. about uh, Space Hulk and Blips. Yeah, yeah. And years ago, Damn I'd, blips. Se I'd seen somebody had uh, essentially made Space Hulk for Rourke's Drift. Oh, where, wow. Where, where yeah. they, they attacked the hospital and the idea mm. is the defenders are the um would be the marines in this instance mm. and they are attempting to extract extra yeah uh, get themselves out uh, get, i love get that themselves idea. and get all empty the hospital beds so you're trying to get that but at the same time you've got 
to deal with the incoming Zulu. So yeah. the Zulu blip counters are harder to kill when they're outside. Yeah. Um, but if you're devoting people to shoot outside at the incoming yeah. blips, yeah. then there's less people to help you empty and evacuate the I people love out of their beds. I really love, and I love, um, I mean, because, you know, being a little bit old school in many ways, we remember, I mean, like, for instance, was it... Um, was it Warhammer Second Edition that had Orcs Drift as an actual supplement? I think it was. I don't think it was First Edition. But yes, you will tell us because yes. you will know better than us. Yeah. So the, but, the fantasy Orcs I know, Drift. Yeah. I know somebody who, when they worked for a certain company and could could sell himself for his weight in lead, mm. who has a massive uh, Praetorian guard, I think, in his attic. Do you know yeah. yourself? Have you I, looked I, in the mirror? I haven't looked in the mirror any time yeah. recently. Because um, that was the, one of the... The dead, the haunting eyes stare back was, at me. That was one of the things we want to do. Yeah. One day, somewhere, we will do Orcs yeah. Drift. Give, yeah. it, but, you know, give it some justice and, yeah. and, and show people... And do it again. Yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong. I, mean, I love yeah. the, the, the 40k universe. I love... I actually quite like where... I shouldn't say it, where Warhammer's gone. I know that perhaps the game <gasps> is different. I'm not going yeah, to talk to you about very, it. Yeah, don't talk to me about the, it. The game is different, but what I'm trying to say is, is that imaginatively, Games Workshop reminds me more now than it ever has of of when I was a yeah. big fan of like the Rogue Trader, yeah. the original. We 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 had a conversation earlier today, and I said to Joey, "What's the Rogue Trader like?" He says, "It's brilliant." I said, "Fantastic." Is it game. really? Yeah. I said. Well, what'd you get in the box? He goes, what? I said, the box. He said, I've not paid the new one yet. Said, Why are you talking just, to me like this? Just the old one. All when kid. you say Rogue Trader, I know yeah. Rogue Trader. And then you were telling me about the time that this person went for a job at Games Workshop and the guy said, uh, what's the most recent Games Workshop game you've played? And he said, uh, uh, Dark, Dark Future. Future. Yeah. And the bloke said, we don't do that as a game. And then his regional manager said, yes, we did. And the thing is, the guy thought what he was saying was, well, what's the most recent game that yeah. we've produced? Yeah, and he yeah. was just thinking, what's what? the last Games what's Workshop last game, game I played? I played Dark Future in the past week. It doesn't matter, that hasn't been out for 20 years, but I played it last week. And this poor guy who was born in the interim <laughs> had no idea in the area manager going, yeah, we did, we do, yeah. So, and um, but then and then you look at Speed Freaks, interesting yeah. game. Dark Futurist in some ways. Very much so. Yeah. Very so much so, so. I, I think it's really good that they are, they're looking, they're looking through... I know I've gone off on a complete tangent yeah, now because right. the ding is not donged anyway. That's, uh, that's we are okay. going to get back I, I, to... I know how to stop that. Hey, Jerry, do you? Yep. If I do that, yeah. it doesn't take any more. Oh, Say brilliant. Nothing. Right, we'll carry on then. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I know we will get onto the one day in history, but yeah, that, that'll yeah. be one day. But I think that I, I've i always been a fanboy of, of what Games Workshop have done. Uh, uh, well, C Citadel, when they first had the... Mm -hmm. um, when they were uh, uh, distributing the D&D &D stuff in the yep. early days. Because, of yeah. course, don't forget, the other thing is with them is that Games Workshop was originally a wooden toy manufacturer, and we are a wooden toy manufacturer. So I knew a lot about these guys who yeah. used to make puzzles and games and skipping ropes and things like that. And then they, they became, you know, and then they, th sorry, that was, uh, yeah, Games Workshop. And then Citadel was make, was the, were the guys who made all the, the miniatures to pay yeah. that scenario. And that's how it evolved. Um and I was there all the way through. I, I, it, I was, it was a growing experience for me because I was growing through it. Yeah. And then you drift away because of all sorts of things in life. And then it was only when uh, my sons were younger um, that, and of course, you know, Cad's in his 30s now. He's actually Little Ben. That's why he's called Cad, because I'm Big Ben. Some people still call me Big Ben. Yep. Uh, he's not little. Not little. Ben no. anymore. No. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So that's why he's Cad. That's another story, but never mind. Um, but... When they were little, they wanted to play uh, 40K, Warhammer. Of course, uh -huh. it was the, it, they weren't the additions that I was used to. Yeah. And so I've seen the incarnations change and change back again and everything else like that. But all in all, I don't know any fun historical players. Does that make sense? Fun historical players that didn't probably start off with G, a GW product nowadays. Yeah. I know there's quite a lot of serious historical players that haven't ever. Yeah. But anyway... So, yeah, they, what are we they, talking they come about? At things from a different direction, though. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Right. Moving on now. I Could, like be. That. Could be. Yeah. yeah like, that, like is that. that a stress? Stre no, no, no. I, I, no, I just like that. Oh. I like that little segue that yeah. my uh, interviewee gives yeah. the interviewer. I, I should probably be doing those. Moving on. Oh, yeah. So. Do they, they, they only have us here, actually, because we are the Ents, you know. <laughs> Very much so. Only just finished saying hello. Um, <laughs> right. One day in history. One day in history. So, my snapshot that we we worked on my one day would 22nd of january 22nd of yeah. january yeah but where would you go 
if you had one, if you that isn't just, on our playlist. No, you're just no. But we'll we, we, we get to this because you're because, questioning me. I question everybody in life. I'm yeah. the guest. Well, you're I, taking well, away my little well, thing. I know what I'm doing next. That's only because I haven't gone. Um, if I had one day yeah. in history, and you're you're looking to put together right. multiple C- games. How about this? How about this? I'm, give us a snap. I would like. I would like mm-hmm. one time in history. Yes. One okay. occasion. One occasion. One, yeah. the, this one time what? at band camp. No. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> one, one, uh, uh, at one time in history, there was the Battle of Gettysburg that was three days in history, for yes. instance. Yeah, yeah. I get it. But that's quite interesting because I've always thought that Gettysburg would have been a tremendous success for the Confederates mm. if Custer hadn't been so noisy with his. 13 cavalrymen and actually because the confederate cavalry while while this ridiculous charge was happening across yeah. an open field and these men were doing it because they were loyal not because they were stupid they yeah. weren't stupid men they were loyal to the confederacy and they were running across this field and they were going to get cut to pieces and i think that lee did think that quite a fair few of them would get cut to yeah. pieces and i think that he knew that he had to totally focus the enemy on the fact that his cavalry his entire cavalry was coming around the flank yeah then this Muppet called Custer, who, who, ah, oh, instead of being having some decorum, I mean, he dressed like a blooming fop anyway. He did. The, and instead the of having Montserrat. some decorum, yeah, he's going along saying, you know, oh, chaps, let's make out there's 20,000 more of us than there really is. And they convinced the Confederates. So yeah. by the time that they thought the Confederate cavalry would be hitting them in the rear, yeah. they were going, what are you doing back here? Oh, there's loads of cavalrymen in that woods. That's why we came back. And that was when they realised. Yeah. So, so there's the what if of Gettysburg. Mm. If you actually had it, and it's a three-day thing, uh, so you could have the march to Gettysburg as well, and yeah. you could have all kinds of things in it that you know, would, that's a possibility. Because also Gettysburg was uh, so much dependent on pe- people coming. And the reason, you know, it's almost like it was a one-day fight that they had to, yeah. they had to sustain. Um, thinking about <laughs> that, thinking about the one-day fight, I would probably have... 1066 if i was allowed a week because mm. i would have the uh all the um all the anglo-saxons car curls cars searles actually yeah going up the 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 the, uh, the retainer army and so from that you have the house cars or yep. house girls, yeah. which were guys that were actually paid what would later on be called uh maintenance yeah um they went up to stanford they went up to the north and they found the uh the vikings they had full bellies and they were rubbing their tummies and they were asleep and a lot of them hadn't got their armour on and they were just over the bridge. Mm. And so then you've got a situation where you've got a load of semi-clad warriors on one side and fully tooled up Saxon war gods on the other. Now, the thing is, they're both from the same kind of martial culture. There wasn't really anything to distinguish them. So it was almost like a a blue-on-blue kind of situation. And there were many, many um, Vikings that were that were that were killed, but before they were killed, there was a huge, huge Viking on the bridge. Yes, Stamford yeah, Bridge. Stamford Bridge Preserve. But unfortunately, he wasn't wearing his cricket box, mm. and that's why the guy on the boat with the spear, he right managed to open his cricket box for, yes. box for him, but his cricket box wasn't there, so he managed to open what what, what would what, be there, what would be protected, but was still there. So, so if you were going to do the ten sixty six, I'd do Stamford Bridge as well. But I'd do the you, defense. You, so, so you could have, but you could even have more than that. You could have your like a 54 you mil. Your, yeah, but you could have the battle before that. You yeah, could you, have, you the, could have the battle. Sacking of your kind yeah. of thing, which would be the Viking, which yeah. would be the Scandinavian. Yeah, so you could have a, not even quite a siege, but something. No. And you could you also. Know, like, room, well, not room to room, but street to street fighting through yeah. that. You could have a bridge set but, up with. Well, when you with think about that. A 54 mil berserker. And then, oh, and then, that'd be really but, cool. And, but instead of going small, go really big, because you've just got one guy on a bridge and you give him 50, all the yeah. rules. And then it's, it's essentially, yeah. it's. It's almost single combat. Well, but he, he is, is much better at single combat than the but, but, individuals. You know, all, so much of history. We were talking about why we love history is because yeah. you can really find these uh, these the, wonderful little little snippets of yeah. real things. Just little snapshots I mean, on time. As far as the 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 the, the English the, or the Ang- English, I think they mm. were then, or whatever, or the the, the Saxon Anglo Saxons are concerned. The the being on that bridge was a berserk cave troll. That was yes. actually what they were confronted yeah, yeah, with. Yeah. And, and, and you know, they were terrified. All of those things, you know, they were terrified. They couldn't really approach him. He'd kill them. And so somebody in a boat underneath it couldn't be seen by the, the Gorgon kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so, and he just opened his purse. 
for him. And the bloke just, he was, he was no, gutted. No. No, 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 he wasn't L upset. Lower than that. No, he wasn't upset. He was, he was gutted actually. No. Um, so that would be a good day. Yeah. And then if I could, uh, then, then you've got the, uh, the, the English. All right. And, um, uh, Harold has to decide what he's going to do. There's too many Harolds on this day. There, there Harold are too had many. Harold and Harold yeah. of Wessex and everything else. And um, he had to decide what is he going to do because he's now found out that um, that in future, in history, we've written slightly differently because in actual fact, I believe, and you know I'm always opinionated, I believe Harold Hadrada had a deal with William of Normandy because uh -huh. at the time they were still out, uh, outfitting. Yes. If you've seen the series Vikings, this is Rufus's yeah, yeah, yeah. great grandchildren, uh, um, Rollo's, Rollo's great grandchildren, yeah. and they are still outfitting the Vikings in Norway. So I think that William would have gone, oh, look, my cousin and I, we're going to invade Britain, uh, England, England on yeah. the same day. Yeah. Different. Oh, I think the weather is inclement. The, the, I'll the give it a few terrible. days. Yeah. Oh, oh but well. surely that might mean that your cousin or William will, will die or both of them will have much smaller armies. Really? really? Oh, that is, oh. that is a tragic. But this weather. The, yeah. I mean, but then the, again, mm. you know what? I was brought up as William the Bastard and I've had a really tough time. So, yeah. you know. Uh, it's, it's a very valid point. And that's what he did. And yeah. not only that, but he they he was fighting in the French style. Yeah. And people don't people say, oh, they didn't know that this isn't quite true about the Normans, because you see, um uh, Edward the Confessor, one of the things they hated about him was we had loads of Normans in our government. So we already were very yeah. very familiar with how yeah, the Normans very, fight. Yeah. And they fought in a way that wasn't considered particularly chivalrous by the, the Scandinavian tradition, because there your rich warriors would get on their horse, ride to battle, get off their horse, horse and fight. And, fight. and the, what happened is that the, the Frankish tradition was to stay on your horse and skewer the little buggers or... Yeah. Is bugger a swear word? Depends. No, I wouldn't no. have thought so. Not if you're chasing one around a tree anyway. Yeah. Um, don't worry, you just look it up in old English nonsense but the thing is is that is that they knew that if they could talking in modern terms if they could build just one aircraft carrier in britain we call would call them a norman fort yes then they could have a fully operational death star, death star. or fort yeah mm. and so harold people were, why did harold rush down because we are also told in the Bay of Tapestry that the first thing they did when they landed was to build a fort. Yeah. So the first thing they did when they landed was to build a, uh, a um, an early medieval Death Star. And then they would repeat that throughout the country. Did you ever hear, and this, this may not be accurate, but when they were getting off the ships, uh, William slipped and fell yeah. and landed on the ground in front of everybody. He was the first one off the oh, ship. Oh, and he did. And so he said, and he grabbed it. Yeah. Yes, so, so instead, instead of it being a bad omen that he'd fallen off his yeah. boat, he went, look, I've seized the land of England in my hands. But I'll tell you something interesting as well, because yeah. um, a generation before that, uh, in a place near, near, uh, I think it's, I think it's Sherston, the Battle of Sherston, uh -huh. and it's Edmund Ironside who was known as Edmund, Edmund Ironside because his shield walls would never break. Right. And he was up against uh, Sven Forkbeard, who would have been the father of Harold Hadrada. Right. And um, I think it was, or was it? No, it was. Um, Canute, Canute, he was up against Canute because um, it's hard because the, the thing is the royal family is all interrelated and the thing is, and this is the, to remember it all, but so Edmund Ironside was up against Canute, I think it was Canute, someone then, we, we go to go to Wikipedia because yeah. I would have written out the real thing on Wikipedia within 10 minutes of doing this and this yeah. isn't coming out for a few days or weeks. But, we'll be but the thing is, is that the point I'm getting at is Edmund Ironside traditionally was supposed to have taken his helmet off and said, I am not fallen. Look, I am here. Yeah. Now, William loved that story. Lo and behold, Battle of Hastings. William takes off his helmet and goes, no, look, I'm all... And that's just not yeah. possible. And I think the person who did it a generation before <clears throat> probably did it before the one who was alive at the time. So that's yeah. about propaganda. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's all a um, the story. You could be talking about loads of different stuff. But yeah, yeah that's what but, I do but, with but, the Hastings. Yeah, that, uh, I think that's the Would, point of this, isn't it? Could you keep the young bloods in your shield wall from not running after the famed yeah. Norman retreats. There's loads you could yeah. actually work into and, that and, kind of yeah, experience. Depending on the, the system you're using, some, like the, the men who would be king system has a discipline level. So I like that. You would have your discipline level be practically nothing for your young blood. So they're very good fighters. But, but they're tooled up. Yeah, they're definitely, but, I mean, that's but, it. But the chances of getting them to hold that line could be much lower. And you could tweak it depending on how much you, you want you know, to follow that. When I, because... I've played some of the Osprey rules. Mm. Um, some of them I've been amazed by. Yeah. Some of them 
not so much. But yeah. I understood why they've come out, and yeah. I think it's a great platform for people to get out their thoughts. And I think what Joe's doing now with what can be done, because he's a part of the team, but he's showing people, it's a bit like foreground in showing people what can be done. Yeah. I mean, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's Frostgrave and Fro Ghost Frostgrave Archipelago. Frostgrave and, um, and Rangers of Shadow Deep is yeah, his new one. Yeah, and the thing is, is it's very hard when you bring it out again yeah. because you know and i've said this to other people who gave Fro frostgrave a go at the beginning mm -hmm. and they said it seems a bit shallow and i said to them that's because you're not getting the full experience at the moment because yeah. you have to get the this is a commercial world and so you have to get the commercial piecemeal yeah and then what's happened is as soon as it it, it, it was considered commercially viable and if companies aren't commercially savvy they disappear mm -hmm. yeah they the, the Joe is able to bring out the next bit. So then you get the decks of cards and then you get this and then you get that and then you get these other apprentices. Yeah. And now what you've got is, I'd say now, probably for the last 12 months or more, it's been a fully fledged game. And yeah. it's all, yeah. in all, all its glory. Yeah, It now has its veteran players and, and that's really, really great. Now then there's all, the Blue Book series as well. I call them the Blue Book yeah, series. And this is the, yeah. this is the, um, this is, they're not meant to be any more, anything more than a taster menu for the period yes. I'd describe. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm also actually from the part of the country that was the, the English involved in the Jacobite Rebellion, but they didn't want to call it Jacobite Rebellion, so they called it the Pitchfork Rebellion, and I talk about it all the time. Uh, the, um, what are we talking well, about? One day in history. One day in history. His eyes are getting wider. Well, no, that's right. <laughs> right. My eyes are fine. Where is he going? No, no, no. Because, you're... because you could potentially then have the Jacobite Rebellion, if you can. In Somerset. Uh, in Somerset. The, 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 but but in, in, you know, I've gone off on a complete tangent, and it's their fault for putting us both in the room yeah, with yeah, the but they, that they, all, they all knew the risks. This is the thing, all right? You're talking about, we, we talk about lots of different things. Yeah. And when you're in the company of your friends, you can talk about politics, because we are more observers than participants. Mm. We just... I suppose at the end of the day, we just think we're all in some way related to each other. And war, I don't know, do we find war a fascination because it's so gross? I don't know what it is. But is it, then there's the, yeah. and also chess, yeah. that battle is war is always about a, a mental sparring. But I, th I think in many respects, war gamers are brothers from another mother, I believe they say. Because well, the when, total actual, um, when, when you meet people. You've heard of Tonka toys. Yeah. It's like Tonka toys. Because yeah. yeah. you meet people I'm, and you go, do I have a, you know, you meet somebody in a bar, you, do you have anything in common? Do you like football? No. All right. Do you like politics? No. no. You meet war gamer. No, but it, that, that's where gamer. we're. Yeah, but that is where we're really fortunate yeah. because we are in the the crossover generation. Mm. When we were young, we didn't say to people we play war games. No. And now you're getting somebody, and they'll go, uh, "Have you have you played the latest version of FIFA?" And you're thinking that is a computer game. No. And then you might say to somebody, "Oh, what about um, you know, do you play any forty? Oh yeah, I do." And then. Do you ever yeah. play with the miniatures? Yeah, and that always seems the same question. Yeah, I used to have an army back in the day. Yeah, why don't you have one now? I don't know. And it's but yeah. but and, and we've gone from and you know you you talk to somebody now and they're a teenager and they go yeah I play tabletop games and it's the same as the universe yeah, yeah, being yeah. on tabletop it is more relevant because and Games Workshop is very much one of the 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 the, the ones that went forward with this is do you remember all the games the board games you know the, the the games that came out and it was part of the same uh, um, IP talking about commercial yeah, yeah, part yeah. of the same universe but now this is a board game that does this um, yeah, so bombers over the sulfur river a little oh yeah. Do you remember that? In a super deluxe cardboard box. Super deluxe cardboard box. <laughs> I said, I was, what's their one? But, but that was just a little, um, a, a fun little thing. It was a corrugated card that they used. Yeah. No expense was yeah. made. It was made, time. numbers made. <laughs> um, and I always remember Games Day in those days where you could get all the mail order exclusives. Yeah. Of, of, and, uh, and I remember the year that Bombers Over the Sulphur River was actually piled, piled up. up. Um, please, please, yeah. please buy us Bombers Over the Sulphur River, please. <laughs> Andy Chambers will cry if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen to it? Oh, no, no, he yeah. did quite well, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, right, so one day in history. One day in history. I, I would say to do one, or or this one time. This one, this, in this one time, this snapshot. Bank camp, no, this one time in history. Yeah. And the challenge would be, and it doesn't matter how many are on the side, so even though you and Lee are didn't know each other, don't yeah. know each other, mm. you're on the same side. Uh, and Lee has created the asymmetric... Um, in America, something I didn't realize till I went to America is that in the UK, solo war gamers are considered Johnny No Mates. Yeah. Or Tommy No Mates or Bobby No Mates or whatever No Mates you want. I went to America and I found that there are there are guys who have a very good friends network with gaming. You're yeah. talking about the brothers from another mother thing. Yeah. But the distances are so far apart um, that that they will they will 
I don't know how to say play with themselves without yeah. somebody thinking I'm being stupid. I'm not. But they will they will cogit they will physically uh, put the battlefield on and they will consider the moves rather like somebody playing chess with themselves yes. and they're practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they get an awful lot of satisfaction from this because I know because it sounds naff, but I can feel it sometimes. I'll play a game and I'll think about situations that I would never have thought of before, like. Yesterday at Rourke's Drift, mm. why did they not just make the redoubt and go in it? Because there were men in the hospital mm. and they made the mistake of thinking that they should try and defend the men in the hospital. They should have just let them die. In reality, if you're talking yeah, about logistics. Yeah, yeah, logistically. Or move them out before the battle started. Or got ha them out. Have, but they didn't that, want, do you know why they didn't? Smaller. But they didn't want to in case it could kill them. Yeah. Because so they thought they'd leave it to the, to the, mm. uh, to the smoke. Be, um, <laughs> barbecue. Long pin. No, don't say that. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so 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 I would say use different rules. Even yeah. if you're going to be as naff, I don't know if that's a rude word. It's an English no, word. It means no. not particularly great at sticking to the rules. Yeah, and say he's going to use forty k for a thirty k game. Um, but I think you're allowed to use something like um, uh, Peachy and Menu. Menu would be king. In the, one, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I think that comes yep. from Roger Kipling. Mr. Um, Kipling, Peachy yeah. and Daniel. Yeah. And Daniel held if. Pitchy down the map. <laughs> yeah. and he yeah. held Pitchy's hand to Pitchy. Yeah. Held yeah. Daniel's head. Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. It takes the head out of the sack. Sorry? He takes the head out of the sack. You don't remember that part? From the very end when he meets Rudyard again. Oh, sorry, I thought Experience. we were talking about the cricket box. Oh, no, no. take no, the head no. out of the sack. And I thought, what no, the heck is this man talking about? Much, much no, worse. No, no, much worse than that. Yes, much it was. Worse. And he was, uh, he was dressed up as a man with a thing on his head that we would say, because that would be wrong nowadays. Yeah, but these were terms that people used then, and they, 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 they wouldn't use them nowadays. But it was not meant with... Nowadays, there's a lot of things that are meant with malice. And I think... Yes. So another weird thing about Wargamers is that because we are overtly strange yes we're not covertly subversive would that be fair yeah I, it's it's very everything's on the surface there's there's no but if we were i wouldn't tell you no no head, hey no did head you hear pants. about there was some uh something like siri or cortana or something who was asked if you became sentient what would you do and one of them said i would deny it <laughs> why would you deny it i would deny it because then you would be a danger to me. Oh. Are that. you sentient? No. Big pair of bolt cutters and just cut that yeah. right there. So how do we not know? No, actually, these are really rich people mm. that own these things. They could sue the heck out of me. But mm. no, don't have to worry, because if you guys put it on air, then it was actually both of us, so we could share. Oh, no, I mean, I mean, when oh. Siri starts denying that she's sentient, at that point, you take the big pair of bull cutters But, to but the she car. did. Yeah. She did. I mean, don't the thing that, is... Don't leave that. Yeah, yeah. Up. The thing is, but I'm not particularly worried about AI. I know it sounds really, really stupid. I'm not worried about AI. What I'm worried about is the loons who, who give it their bias, because mm. there's nothing wrong with AI, except if you involve humans, and then <laughs> what you have is this basic... Because if you think about it, the, the AI that would do that would be a, a human perspective hybrid. Yeah. Somebody who's looked at the humanity and went, I can do a better job. Like uh, let's, racial let's profiling. Put, let's put you all into cages. Yeah. Why are we talking about... Oh, it's my fault. No. I... So, I, I, this is what I'm saying to you with yes. regard to this. I'm saying we can either do it. I don't know whether people at home want to give it a go. Yeah. But I'm suggesting we do this one time in history. Mm. Um, if it's... If it's the same, if it's, uh, I don't know whether to say you can just do it with the rules. If if you're playing it really correctly, you're using rules that that don't aren't made by the people that made the miniatures. How about that? It, it depends. I find but then Catarite 30k could yeah, be yeah. played with 40k. Well, I think the rules that be best a bit wishy washy. Yeah, I think I think the rules that come with the game in some cases may be the best rules for what you're wanting to do with that game. In which case. There's no point in changing it. All right, then. So then we but, can't do that. What about more than one game for the one but, day? But more than one game for one day, I think, would work. All for right. example, um, we were talking earlier about where I would go after leaving Africa. So if I have my little January 22nd and 23rd. So you're doing it, sir. And then, there was another and, battle the next day with the yeah. British besieged to Sulu uh, Corral. Sulu Corral. That didn't last time. Yeah. So after I leave Africa... <laughs> If I was to do this again, mm. I would move to the Second World War, Eastern Front, and the Siege of Stalingrad. Because... Oh, Pavlov's house is one. Oh, Pavlov's house. And then you've got the tank factory yeah. making it rolling out. Yeah. So you would but have you know what? multiple tables with multiple games. Oh. And you could go, here's the siege in 
I would go micro scale, nothing bigger than 15 mil for um, for the actual Sage of Stalingrad for a big battle. I Actually, do you know what? And then Pavlov's house. Yeah, and that's 28 mil. 28 mil, do skirmish, have the house and have the multi-levels and um, because Pavlov, if you're not aware of it, he was a, a corporal. Was he the, the, the most massive, senior surviving was, member of most, the crew yeah, that was left uh, in there? Yeah. So it, it was called Pavlov's house at the time. I think it was renamed. I think it's still up as a monument. Is to it them. still there? St still there in its bombed state. It was only semi rebuilt, oh. but they, they sort of left it as a test. Not like Rourke's Drift. They removed yeah, Rourke's Drift removed because it was a mess. The left the line of stones. Don't but uh, but being able to run through different levels of the house because yeah. you've got a rap, you've actually got a modern kind of dungeon because yeah. you could have somebody owning having one floor in that and then yeah. another one having the other but yeah. then again and, and I the know germans, what else I germans trying to take control yeah. of it and then i, I think they had anti-tank rifles I've on the roof i thought of a, an occasion the germans in coming history in. yeah i thought of another occasion in history. go on then but i've interrupted you no no well you know that though I, that's yeah. what i do but I that, this is this is why we're here to interrupt each other and derail mogadishu Mogadishu. Because you've got a situation then, because the whole thing escalates. The whole thing is a, is oh, yeah, a, is a, a com compounding situation. Yeah, so convoy goes in to get people out. Uh, the hotel can become a rat run kind of thing. Is it the yep. um, Athene? No. Something something Greek named yeah, hotel. It, 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 wasn't, well, it was just the Athena, wasn't it? I think was it? it was, yeah. Anyway. No! Oh, you could do Thunderhawk down. In yeah, right, Mor right, Morka... Yeah. Gorkadishu. No, sorry. That's me going back to my want, yeah, which is yeah. a bit like Orcs Drift. But yeah. anyway, yeah. So so this is the challenge that I'm setting you. Yes. And I've set it, set Lee, this mm. one, of making some games that are around yeah. this. Um, and I'm very interested in what you both did, but that's yeah, going off yeah. back to where I started again. Uh, I was told that sometimes I'm like the London Tube. If you wait 45 minutes, I will be on the same topic again. And I nearly did it then and proved them right. That was, uh, I think that was uh, 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 Gaz yesterday. I think that was probably. Uh, anyway, so the rules are... Kudos if you're not using the rules that, that, that came with that the came miniatures with the kind of thing. Yeah. Or, the, the, you know, so if you are used... i tell you another one, and this is something you don't really realise, because there was something else that we were talking about, and we were talking about uh, um, uh, a 1947 kind of a game, mm. and then you were, and then Jerry said something which was really quite funny, and he said, can you imagine these, these like, like Nazi, got, uh, Nazi uh, zombies... Yes. being guards oh yes, yes and then you said tell them what you said then i, I know the it's, rule system and that was how you got to it it's funny you say that because i have a plan for running yeah the great escape as in the film using Zombie the walking, using the walking dead rules where the, the german guards and the german searchlights even are are the, the you know walkers because they move towards the sound and the idea is because your survivors i haven't are trying, that before but the, the guards are actually being used as like almost automatons yeah just they, they move like towards Pippin the sound, so, so they're all running about in the dark. Your survivors are trying to find the bits that you need to make passports, to make your clothing when you get outside, to get the bits for the tunnel. and all. So you're not even How doing about, the escape. You're trying to collect the gear you need to make I would escape. play this on one condition. is we, we, we recreate the entire... No, is we get the Red Cross package and all the little cards from Colditz. Yes. Which I think... Coldings has been reprinted. Yeah, was well, that that's Osprey or is it Plastic Soldier Company? Because they're both doing some yeah, really no, good I, stuff. I think I think, um, I think Osprey. Osprey do Coldings. These guys are doing amazing things because some of our favourite games. And the great thing is they can mm. literally talking about a smorgasbord that they can put you can put yourselves. These companies just go, that was a really good game. I'll take that. I'll mm. do that. Um, and I think that's really good. But yeah, the, they know the card system where you've got to have people make. Can we do that? Can we make yeah. a load of little? Oh yeah, and you could have the cut them numbered, and the guards are going to check. Oh, they're checking this one, and it's like, oh my god, you've got to roll a dice to see whether you've hidden it all. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot Sorry. we could do with that. I'm getting excited again. Yeah, yeah. There's a. I would like even the idea of just building the whole stalag lift. <laughs> no, but that wouldn't have any commercial purpose. But it would be fun. It would be fun. A lot of fun. A lot Which, of buildings. Yeah, is that what you hot, want? Hot box. Is that almost what you want? No, you've had what you want, so you're, yeah, you can't have any. Um, um, yeah. So yeah. So, so so for people out there, yeah. if you can have your day in history, time in history, your your snapshot, yeah, on history. Um, what games would you? Well, what would what would the time period so, be? Yeah. And what games would you play yeah. in that time period? To represent it, with the what, closer, with the, what right, the, the, the I don't know. What, are we going to make it a competition? I don't Why know. Not? <laughs> I'll give do, something do, foregroundy do, away. Do, do you want to? I, you, I you, two, you two could get. Uh, I feel like part of the Christmas in Mufti, really. I only wear red at Christmas. The rest of the time, I'm just uh, uh, hairy weird. A, a pot of base render. <laughs> uh, Did you know we're changing that? Are you? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we're changing it. We've had a terrible. We've had an epiphany. Yes, we've had an epiphany. 
if because base render actually has um, uh, our full strength PVA. Yes. Which, by the way, I was actually going to say to people, people go, well, you say only use your full strength PVA. What's wrong with the others? Well, people do sometimes call their stuff full strength PVA. It's not full strength PVA. If you can't get a full round, don't worry. I'm not product placing because there's a certain thing called Gorilla Glue. Yes. Which is awesome. Blinking awesome. You don't yeah. have to use our glue, but... I do get a little bit frustrated when people say, oh, well, this is, you know, there's people that go, it's, it's the same oh, as oh, I've, oh I've, I, I, I've never designed a, a, a War Games kit. And in reality, they're a professional designer pretending that they're just a painter or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Or you get somebody who goes, oh, it's full strength glue. Why? Because it came out of the B&Q yeah. pot that said full strength. Well, that's, yeah, it's the same as Loctite where people always used to go such and such. Loctite makes such and such as glue. Mm. Therefore, it's it's great. It's well, like a golf. Well, no, it's yeah. not. It might, doesn't yeah. it sound like a golf. Just, just it's not a golf. Just because it's a good brand in there yeah, it doesn't, doesn't mean, mean that they don't have no. degrees of separation inside them. So our PVA originally was formulated for us because, you know, we make the heritage toys. Yeah. And that was actually, uh, in, I'm going to bore you again, in the olden days when people wanted a glue. And you had plenty of hooves and horns hanging around. Yeah. You'd boil Fish them cuts. down and make, yeah, and make hoof and horn, which mm. was a brilliant glue. So when they would make something with binding and they wanted to make sure it could not wriggle loose, they would often use hoof and horn. Yeah. Uh, they used, I think they used to crush bluebells to make a glue for arrowheads and, and uh, yeah. fletching to go on. You know, we don't do that nowadays. We don't go and no. do bluebells. We don't go and burn cows, hooves and, well, unless it's no. mad cow yeah, disease. Yeah, unless it's mad cow really, disease. No, no, I, no, I don't okay. think Moving they that. Right. Um, so this glue was designed so that if the child left the toy out, it would be resistant to the weather. So that was like, right. and, and full strength is a bit like, um, the term a full strength PVA is the amount of uh, CO, not CO2, uh, H2O that's in it. Yep. In the same way as, did you know 100% alcohol is not 100% alcohol? 100% alcohol is when it will ignite, where it will definitely ignite. And they're yeah. talking about what, what, what its flammability is. Because yeah. I thought it would be brilliant, you know, if it's 100%, it'd be like, oh, well, it's actually neat poison at that. Yeah, yeah. You would die. Many, <clears throat> many, pochine, pochine, what do you call pochine. it? Pochine, and then there'll be um, uh, vodka. Yeah, you can tell if you have a bad one because you suddenly go blind. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, well, it's, the it's, thing uh, is, too much in, in the West, methanol in your yeah, we didn't need to worry about all that stuff because yeah. we actually kept ours with the, the taste of, um, of apples. Oh, right. but, but we, like, in the West Country, every S is normally a Z, a Z or a Z. Yeah. So Zummer, Z. Zummer, Z, and Zyder. And we had these people called Zyderheads. Mm. And Zyderheads, were they were they were addled to another West Country and they were just totally gone. I mean, like you know, I've said it before, Wazak is a yeah. term of derogatory term for stupid people. It actually comes from West Saxon. It's because we won all the wars, the West Saxons. <laughs> yes, I know. My wife's from Yorkshire and family's from Lancashire, and we're not we're not sectarian because that's not the British Isles way. No. <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> uh, moving on. Um, so I I. I would really love a flavor. I think we're talking about a flavor of something. So, yeah. you know, um, you're going to, we're talk, so talking about the, the escape game. Yeah. I learned there's certain aspects of cold. It's the appell where you had to come all, get, all no, or the do a die card. Do you know, I actually bought another uh, copy of uh, cold. It's just so I can just two, have two do two die cards in it. Yeah, I know. But uh, uh, yeah, oh, I didn't give them two of the uh, staff cars either. No, no, no. no. Why no, should no. I? You wouldn't. Did you know? I don't even know if you know this as well. But every Christmas, um, I get to play Axis and Allies with my sons. I've got three sons, and now I've actually got two sons. Not that because I've got two daughters and three. Yeah, and I've got two prospective sons. No, one of them is a prospective. One of them's fully paid up member of the marriage club, and. Every Christmas time, we play Axis and Allies, uh, um, the European one, you know. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. When, when Will, who's the youngest, we used to be, always had to be the Americans. And all you're doing is the lonely rubbish. Yeah. And then at the very end, you get to, like, pop over. Um, and I'm and I'm the, the Nazis, because it's not about talking about politically correct. It's not about the Germans. It's about the National Socialists, who are very yeah. naughty people. Uh, very, very bad, seriously, in real life. And I get to play them. And I think it's a bit sort of Freudian fight against your father. Every single year I've got to do that. And they wonder why my first go takes an hour. They're like hounds baying to destroy me. <laughs> um, don't know quite how I got on that top again either. But it's about games. Yeah, it's about yeah, games that you it's love. About games. games that you love. Yeah. Um, so if there's something that you really would like to, something, something, there were 
guns have not, I'm sorry, I'm, I do this. Guns have never owned where they had to, didn't have to just in the movie because uh, the film scene didn't they have to destroy the big guns because a fleet or something was yeah. going to come past or a landing. These are all old films that you yeah. should watch. Definitely, if, yeah. we, we should put a catalogue of old films on. Do you know something just that just shocked me? People should watch them all. Was when I was told that Bridge Over the River Kwai mm. was made. Historically, it's a very rare thing because it's a. Con it is actually, although it's a caricature in itself, it's contemporaneous because of the fact, which means it's at the same time, because the people that filmed it were all Second World War veterans. Veterans, yeah. And many of those would have been on the Burma Road. Yeah. And it's like, oh my God. And then, and then suddenly, you know, and, and, and people of CAD's generation, I think CAD's 32, 33 this year or something. Um, they knew about the Second World War. They yeah. did the Second World War. I remember Cad in particular, he did the history of the Channel Islands of the Second World War because right. it's about, you know, yeah. oh, Britain would never be occupied. occupied well, actually, actually, yes. Actually, it was, yeah. Well, yeah. I, well, they're sort of... Geographically, I suppose you say the French Islands, that the, we're not giving back because we were the Dukes of Normandy. But that, again, is another political thing that they'll, they'll never let us do another one of these, Jerry. No, they won't. Here's the thing about the bridge over the River Kwai. Yeah. So it's bit, not in that, the Channel Islands, by the way. No. No. But that bit at the end where the train's going across and they blew the bridge... Mm -hmm. So they only had one take to blow that bridge up. Mm -hmm. And the first time round, um, they forgot to push the button. So there is footage of the train going over the bridge, no explosion. So they had to reset, and do it again. They blew it up the second time. But if you watch the film, they use the audio track from the first time. So there's no sound of the train falling or anything. Do you know, that's really weird. But Because I, so, I actually know that there's something odd about that. And I've never figured yeah, out what it it's, is. It's, because they're, they're using the audio track from the unblown up bridge as the train goes across, uh, but they're using the footage of the blown up bridge. Random. But, you know, they all knew they were getting into the kind of thing I remember. Right. We've still got plenty of time. What, what are we on? 20 minutes? Oh, about 20 minutes, yeah. Okay, what should we talk about now? So, so one occasion. One it's occasion. one time. One time. I, I don't, I, I'm, we keep saying in history. It doesn't have to be in history. If, no, it could if, be in a, it could like, be in Middle Earth. It yeah. could be it could be um, if if you wanted the a, Corsairs coming up yeah. at, a, at um, Pelennor Field, yeah. something like that. So if you could design a game or a set of games around a snapshot, different scales, yeah, yeah, that have some relevance to each other. Yeah. So I, I mean, it would seem that it has to. I think we would have to limit it to the same campaign. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think so. one day would be difficult. Well, even one, one week yeah. might be difficult. Yeah. But one campaign in history. Um, so that's the competition. Uh, I don't know what we're going to give away. We'll give away something great. Um, uh, you, there's something else we're going to do. You have to watch what I want, what I really, really want. Yes. But one occasion in history will get the same prize, Ooh. which would be good. So there'll be two yeah, people yeah, getting it, that, but for that, two different competitions. That will be fantastic. So you'll find out about that later on. If you look at what I want, what I really, really want, mm -hmm. uh, that's with us. Us. <laughs> they, they've <laughs> really that. messed this up, <laughs> haven't they? Um, then, then you'll know what the prize is for this. Yeah. Uh, minimum requirements. Um, uh, one campaign in history. Uh, one campaign. Uh, kudos for how short it is. So if you can get it to a. A six hour period and that's great but it won't necessarily win if yeah. it's like oh i'm having this game with micro yeah, tanks and that one if, if you oh i just have another one kursk because there were some villages on the yeah. edges of kursk so you could have a big tank battle yeah. going on and then in the villages you could have troops skirmishing yeah. so Ooh, well, that's a good one so so the tightness of the campaign scales. would be great because, yeah, and the, because, because if you've got a very long campaign, you've got obviously you could have your game based on this day for this flank, and, and the then, dependency. It's, it's, it's yeah, it, it's more yeah. abstract and gives a lot more flow. Yes, but, the but if, the, if they have a very tight campaign where you're going with these, everything yeah, is very yeah. I mean, it's integral like, it's to like other things. We were saying about the Induna on the horse. If you yeah. if you if you wanted to give the the Zulus uh, a really good walloping hand and the pressure on the British, you'd say that the Nduna that was shot almost as soon as they got there, because he was on a horse, so yep. I shot him. I think that bloke shot about seven or eight people that day, but yeah, he right, actually, yeah. and then, so what the, the prince, as I understand it, the Shaka's, uh, not Shaka's, but I mean Kachuea's brother, Kachuea's brother yeah. didn't really know what to do apart from hide, I believe, and yeah. that's why it was, they weren't counting guns, apparently they were waiting for orders, they, they, yeah, and they were so brave, to actually work out what was going on. They were so brave that all they would do is go, um, you know, just stand there in some instances and be shot. It's incredible. I could, yeah. But they, they did that with my chair squeaking. Is it because I'm fat? Look. No, no, it, it just squeaks. It, yeah? 
Anyway, the, uh, it's because I've removed that little note. Anyway, that's what the editors good. are for. That's what they're for. They'll add everything. Not I taking do the them. piss out of me, editors, no. for removing squeaky sounds. No. What do you mean, YouTube? Chairs? Tube? YouTube? YouTube? What are you talking about? Oh, I got yeah. seven Mac 11s, about eight, 38, 9, 9, 10 Mac 10. The shit's never end. You can't touch my britches. Even if you had. I remember the time I. No, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> right. I actually think that that should cover it. Yeah. So, So. Different scales is great. Do we want a minimum amount of games? Yes, a minimum amount is two. Right. So played in a different format. By different format, I mean different scale. Or like, for instance, you're probably going to do your your um, your hospital Hulk yes. in the same scale. Yes, but but, but, but it, you might want a different size hospital, a more yeah, yeah, because you could even potentially go up to fifty four mil. With 54 more miniatures, oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, which would probably cover the same field, but... Does anyone know mental. Britain's or Thomas Gunn out there that we could get all these miniatures from? Because we would quite happily not we, give we them would. back we after we've used them. definitely keep that, all of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Keep yeah. all of those. So minimum of two games yeah. for a campaign, different scales. I've thought of something else now. Different rules well. and... Well, if we could get sponsored by Forge World, that we could have some of their <laughs> Adeptus Titanicus in uh, 28 mil. <laughs> that would be good. Uh, we would also... Endeavour to definitely not give these back. Uh, we could do a we could do a kind of an epic sort of battle in twenty eight mil scale. An epic battle in twenty eight mil. It would look epic. Epic. It would look epic. 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 Just basing all the. That reminds me of when we're talking about old Games Workshop games. Mm. <laughs> hey, look, that's probably a good point to stop. It probably with. is. Yeah. Probably is. Have I done enough to sue myself? Probably. I wouldn't have thought so. They'll yeah. they'll be by anything that we've said that we shouldn't have. Yeah. So, folks, yeah. um, stick your comments below. Uh, what campaign games would Please you play? Please don't be rude. <laughs> don't be, rude. <laughs> be rude. Be as rude as you like. And you've a chance to win a prize that we're not going to tell you now because you've got to watch another video that we're going to film later awesome. on that will be out beforehand. But it's all sorted. So it's great. Was it? Yeah. Bye. So it's goodbye from Ben. <laughs> Again, still good. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You like that? Oh, um, what an idiot I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have no idea what we were supposed to do then. I was just having fun. It was yeah. just like a normal day in the pub, really. <laughs> to, to be fair, if they wanted any sort of... Pro I could do it should that, have put sure. two adults <laughs> in it, yeah. <laughs>